Hello and welcome to the reading of my poem with the title Under the Sycamore Tree. Cheers. <clears throat> Under the Sycamore Tree. Suffering, you ask? Yes, I am dwelling under the sycamore tree. Six more weeks of agony and years to come of yearning for the smell of your hair, for the touch of your hand, your breath on my neck. The world is too small for my pain it is not possible for one heart to carry such a heavy load. Better to drown in the river of hail. I dare you, Iradur, go down this path and into the abyss. Run into darkness without hesitation. Jump into the flames of night until you become the fire of day. Burn everything without any doubt. In this fire he will be, absorbing your heat and nourishing your flames. I will go down into the abyss. I will run into darkness without hesitation. I will jump into the flames and burn everything without any doubt. How will I find out if he can absorb my heat? How will I know if he can nourish my flames? If I don't burn my everything in front of him? Many times I burned, and many times I lived. My fire nourishes my fire. I am the original flame. Suffering, you ask? Yes, I am burning under the old ash tree. I have to make a little comment about the title, The Sycamore Tree. <clears throat> and I have to admit that I stole this <clears throat> from Shakespeare <clears throat> because you might know this. Um, Romeo uh, also dwells under the sycamore tree. Why does Romeo dwell under the sycamore tree? Because he is sick of amour. He is love sick. Yeah, Shakespeare was quite a um, word artist. And um, especially when it comes to plants, all the plants and the flowers uh, he uses in his poems or in his place, they all have a deeper meaning. So, you know, one person just hears the sycamore tree. Um, but now you know better. <coughs> and you know uh, why he chose the sycamore tree. And that's the reason I chose the sycamore tree. Yeah, so <laughs> that's it. Thank you. Good night.